hi guys you're welcome to my channel thank you for stopping by today if this is your first time of coming across my channel you are highly welcome so i upload some tutorial videos and pattern drafting right here on my channel so if this is your niche you like to get updated on trust me you're on the right channel so in today's tutorial i'll be sharing with you guys how i made this beautiful gown with a keystone neckline I also made use of an ankara print fabric and also this black um fabric which i use here is actually a crepe so if you're interested in learning how to achieve this continue watching and please do not keep skip any part of this video we'll just get started so firstly i have my paper all spread out right here so right now all my measurements are going to be starting from the top area of this my paper so i went ahead to mark a line across and that is going to serve as my shoulder line so i proceeded to divide my shoulder into two i went ahead to mark half of it right there and also marked my neck width of three inches and for this dress the front neckline i'll be coming in by five inches for the neck depth so i went ahead to connect this way and i'm actually trying to achieve a round neckline on this my beautiful gown so i'll move over to my shoulder divided into two and from that point i'm going to mark eight inches downward and that is going to be my armhole this is this way and this is going to be my chest line so after that i'm going to connect the point from my shoulder down to this my armhole hole i'm going to i'm going to divide what i have here into two equal halves and it's four inches and i'm going to mark the four inches and come in by half of an inch right there both circumference by four and whatever i have i'm going to mark it on that line labeled my chest line So after marking it, I'll just use this my curve rule and connect all of these dots I made right here. So this is my armhole curve. Simply going to mark my vertical measurements right here now. So I'll start by marking my half length of 17 inches and I'll proceed to mark my hip length of 24 and a half inches. So after that, I'll mark my full length. So something I skipped here the first line I skipped here was my boss point, which I later realized that I did add, which I later added. So all these points, I'm going to extend them into a straight line. And at this point, I'll also extend the line for my full gown length. My camera didn't capture this because my table is actually small. But I didn't do much than that. I just added, I just marked my gown length, okay? So I went ahead now to mark this boss point, which I skipped earlier on of 11 inches. So you can see that I also went ahead to extend that point just like I did for the other points. So the next I did is to divide my nipple to nipple point of 8 inches into 2 and I have 4 inches and I'll proceed to mark these 4 inches on all of these lines right here. So having done this, I'll come to this point and label all of these lines so you don't get confused so I can carry you along with what I'm doing. So on my half length, I'm going to come out by half inch at both sides on this my dots and I'm just going to connect like this into my bust point just this way and also connect into my hip line. So having connected this, you can see how nice this is looking already. I'll just come to my half length on the line labeled HL and I'll divide my waist circumference by four and whatever I have, I marked it right there. So I'm going to going to repeat the same um procedure which i did on my hip line i divided my hip circumference by four and i mark whatever i have right there so what i usually do is on my full length i usually subtract one inch from my hip circumference so for here i just subtracted half of an inch so there's no much thing i did right there so i went ahead to connect this point from my chest line to my half length and also for my half length i'm going to use this my curve to connect to my hip line so if you actually have a, a hip curve feel free to use it as well so just like that i connected to my full length so there is no much thing i did just that my camera didn't capture this because i'm working with a small table so the next thing i did is to replace this my dart intake of one inch and i'm going to make sure that this dart replacement is going to stop and end it's going to begin sorry and end exactly where it was taken so you can see how i, I went ahead to connect this to replace this my dart and that is simply the exact way this should be done so i went ahead to um 
ensure that it was it didn't exceed one inch before i went ahead to add my sewing or seam allowance of 1.5 inches so i went ahead to mark this all around and cut this out just like this so the same way i drafted everything is the same way i cut out so i went to give this my shoulder slant and that was all i did for this and i went ahead to cut out this the other way it is so now for the back part i will start by marking one inch which is going to serve as my zip allowance so this part i'm marking this one inch is for my back gown so i went ahead to use my stretch ruler to connect the points i made into a straight line i proceeded to placing my front drafted gown on on exactly that line where i marked for my zip allowance and i went ahead to extend the line on my half length so i know what i'm doing so from that point which i extended up to my back dress i went up by five inches and i came down by five inches as well and from that five inches i'm going to mark eight inches so all this is because i want to achieve a butt curve and also my zip curve on this dress so it doesn't get pointy at the back part so just go ahead and connect this way just as i'm connecting if you are if you if you've always watched my videos you you will really understand everything i'm doing here without um confusion okay so this is um what i've always done on this channel but if this is your first time of watching um my video um apologies that this was a bit too fast but trust me if you subscribe and keep watching my videos you'll be conversant with all of this i'm doing right here so after that now i went ahead to connect like this and also pin this my front drafted gown on this my back piece so this now i pinned after pinning i went ahead to uh, measure out my um, neck depth and for this i marked two and a half as my neck depth so I went ahead to also connect because it's actually a round neckline that I want at this point as well. So having cut this out and every other thing, I'll just I'll just go ahead now and take this away and focus on my front gown because that's where the neckline the keystone neckline will be achieved so taking this one part now i'm going to get my front drafted basic gown and this is it so now on my neck opening i'm just going to go in by two inches just like this and i'll make a point right there so for the for where this is going to stop is actually all about preference but for me i came up by one and a half inches from my half length and inwardly i marked one inch so i'm just going to connect these two tiny lines together this way and i'm going to connect the two inches on my shoulder line down to this point which i made right here so you can see what i have so the next thing i'm just going to simply do is to cut this out this my center front and my side front as well like i said in the beginning of this video here are the fabrics i'm working with and i went ahead to cut out this my already drafted piece on this my actual fabric so for this part i already told you this is a crepe and you can see i added half of an inch for my joining allowance and i also did the same for this my side front so you can see what i did right here and for the back i didn't add any allowance or joining allowance to it because every allowance was added while drafting so i'll go ahead to unpin this to separate my paper from this my fabric and i'm just going to start joining all of this piece together so first things first i'm going to open this so you see what it looks like so if you actually don't want the v part of your neckline to be wide you can actually come in by half of an inch okay so i'm just trying to show you what it looks like after placing so this piece i went ahead to cut out this piece which is two inches wide but if you want your print to be wider you can go ahead and cut as much as you like but mine i was managing this fabric so i'm going to join all of this cut out piece together before i will start printing on this my neckline joined and done everything which i said earlier on but please before you start pinning or printing on your neckline do ensure you iron this your piece very well first so having said that 
i'll go ahead now and start printing this just watch carefully so you see what exactly i'm doing right here so i'll just go ahead and start printing this on this my neckline so i'm going to do this for these two sides and for the down part of this my v neckline please do ensure you take your time to do this trust me you're never going to regret it but, but please just devote your time to achieve exactly what you want okay So if you can see this actually took me a lot of time to achieve but i persisted because i wanted to achieve exactly what i wanted so like i said earlier on please iron this flat before you start pinning just the way i'm printing please so carefully just pleat this carefully and take your time and do this So guys this is what it looks like after pleating and just after that go ahead and stitch exactly the same way you pleated using the half of an inch joining allowance which i gave this earlier on so i've joined this and you can see what it looks like because this is the back or the wrong side of my fabric so i'm trying to bring this out very well so you see it so that was why i said if you want yours wider i mean your pleats you can go ahead and add extra inches to the wideness okay so this is what it looks like so i'll go ahead now to add this my um my keystone or will i call it my center front to this part so i went ahead to pipe the neckline area with this same ankara print fabric so what you will do is to get to the point which is which has this block shape you can see so you're going to place it directly on the half of an inch which you um already stitched down so this part that is facing this camera i mean for this crop fabric i'm using right here is the wrong side so the wrong side should face you and the right side should face your table so like that you're firstly going to secure the base of this um of this um center front to your um african print before you go ahead to pin after pinning the hair the base you go ahead and pin the sides as well so you're going to do this for the both sides and at the end of the day you see how this corresponds and it came and it will come definitely come out so beautiful so i'll go ahead and do all of that and i'll show you what it looks like after doing that so this is what i have right here you can see how beautiful it's already looking so please after this make sure that you iron this generously very well and after ironing I turn this to the back for you to have another look or view of what it looks like at the back so yours can actually be deeper than mine it can actually get up to your hip plate if you want it's actually your preference and your choice okay so i'll start by coupling or um joining all of these pieces together please i forgot to say something right here don't forget to stitch your dots because i already did that here okay so i did it behind the camera okay please so after that now i'm going to join shoulder to shoulder the front and the back gown and i'm going to join using half of an inch because i've already piped my back dress i've already piped the neckline so i'll join the shoulder with half of an inch and i also go ahead and join the sides with one and a half inch seam allowance which was given to this dress while drafting if you can remember and add my zipper and my sleeve so guys after doing all of that this is what it looks like and this is the outcome you can see how beautiful this is looking please thank you all for watching me up to this point and this moment i really do appreciate that and if you're yet to subscribe to my channel please kindly do so and i'll gladly appreciate that and you too will never regret it so you can see how beautiful this actually came out and i'm yet to iron this dress trust me guys so this is all for this dress and you can see how nice it's already looking thank you once more for watching to all my subscribers i love you all and you are the real mvp guys don't forget to like share and comment 
and till some other time see you guys on the same channel bye